Today, I bring you another Ferrari to the Ferrari review lineup. This you are looking at here is the legendary Ferrari 599 GTO, the a common, super rare, special Ferrari that is incredibly expensive because the 599 GTO is a limited production high performance supercar of the base 599, one of the most underrated Ferraris and the best ever made. Yes. This 599 GTO is so special that if you entice the car enough until one day you see it in person, you'll love it before you even get to touch it. With a legendary engine, a timeless design by Penaferina, and arguably the closest you'll get to an F1 sounding car. This Ferrari has the pinnacle of style, performance, and just sounds really good like any Ferrari did before at the time. The 599 GTO is of course more powerful with a slight torque boost, plus weighs less 220 pounds than the ordinary 599. The 599 replaced one of my favorite Ferraris I reviewed of all time in this channel earlier this year, the Ferrari Maranello in early 2006 with the GTB Florino with the 6 liter V12 from the Ferrari Enzo Ferrari generating over 600 horsepower. When the GTO name came back for the 599, most Ferrari customers was excited for this car and also felt controversial. The 599 GTO revealed in the spring of April 2010 when Ferrari announced the details of this car, it was the most extreme sports car that they ever produced. The 599 also was the most powerful and the quickest Ferrari ever made at the time next to the Enzo. It still is an amazing supercar today and holds up in the modern standards over a decade later. This 599 GTO doesn't have much to set the car apart visually from the GTB. Just more aero elements in the front, aggressive rear air diffusers, and has the multiple shift program for the gearbox from the 599XX along with the exhaust system. Ferrari revived the GTO name 26 years later, last seen on a 288 GTO and further back on a 250 GTO from 1962. Although there are some similarities between their legendary original and the revival GTO. Both are V12 front engine rear wheel drive with beautiful styling, both have excellent weight distribution, both are fast except the 599 GTO is even faster and the engine generate organic noises as the RPMs reaches the red line. While the 599 has more V12 muscle sound coming from the quad exhaust, resurrecting the name made a lot of sense. Now this is where things do get interesting and that's the engine. Underneath the hood of this 599 GTO, the engine they established in this 599 GTO and including the other 599s is straight directly from the Enzo Ferrari of the 6 liter naturally aspirated V12 generating 661 horsepower and revs to 8,250 RPMs which is what to expect from this modern old school Ferrari engine with 457 pound feet of torque. The 599 GTO weighs about 3,538 pounds. Since this rare monster is pretty much hardcore than the original, it will fly from 0 to 60 time in 3.8 seconds and can do a quarter mile in about 11 seconds bullseye and can get the top speed done to 208 miles per hour with a 6 speed auto clutch manual. This thing is really agile, loud, and very fascinating to listen to the sound and drive it too. The 599 GTO was built to rival against other supercars like the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, the Zonda Cinque, and the Lexus LFA just to name a few. All of those cars sound very extraordinary and each provides a different unique feeling. Meanwhile, Ferrari only produced 599 units of this car worldwide. The 599 is named after the total engine displacement with a 5.999 cubic centimeters of the engine, so they rounded up to a 6 liter V12. This car was faster than the Enzo Ferrari on the track at Florino Circuit by one second which is outstanding. This 599 GTO was the most powerful series production Ferrari road car at the time and is the road version of the track day 599XX that came out the same year in 2010. Only 44 of them were built. Then there was the extreme version in late 2011 of the 599XX Evolutione which was the most powerful track day Ferrari ever made. Moving on to the styling and the looks of the 599 GTO. First of all this car has a beautiful styling with an aggressive front end with a horse badge on the grille. The quad air vents on the hood are functional to support the engine's full potential and help it breathe. 
The car rims just fizz to taste and the side profile is just so clean and gorgeous with the Penaferina badge. Now I don't know about you, but for some viewers looking at this car right now, some people forget that this car has flying buttresses. Sometimes it's a hit or miss because some viewers view at this car at a certain angle that they cannot tell that it does. However, there are noticeable shape like an arch guide airflow to the rear section for more downforce to keep the car on the surface. At the rear end are racing diffusers two raining lights and quad exhausts where you hear the sound and has a GTO badge as this 5.9 was never designed for homologation in any racing series whatsoever like the previous GTOs that used a name designation. However, they revived the GTO name for the 599 because this Ferrari has the race day versions unlike the F12 Berlinetta and the A12 Superfast. Moving on getting inside the 599 GTO. The first thing you'll notice of the interior and the seats that there is no leather anywhere whatsoever unlike the original 599 and some of the other Ferraris. The leather was removed to save a lot of weight for the Ultimate 599. The seats are Alcantara and sporty to keep the driver in place from sliding if he or she is driving through fast corners or chicane on a racetrack. Another thing that saves weight, they replace the mechanical power seats with the manual seats where you simply pull the seats backwards and forwards with a latch like most normal everyday cars. There are no floor mats either, just a bare floor material that does help to save weight and like everything else in here to pull 220 pounds out of the regular 599 for the GTO is track focus which means there is less quality in the interior and more performance. Despite saving weight though, the car does come with a fire extinguisher just in case like other track focused Ferraris. The interior quality, the features and the buttons are very modern classic. I believe that the 599 was one of the last Ferraris to have an analog interior before Ferrari added more advanced tech into their supercars and grand tours and the near features. With that being said, starting with the center console with three circle buttons, the lower two are the lock and unlock buttons for the car doors and the top button opens the glove compartment with a push of a button. One luxury feature that's quite cool. The red button is the hazard lights and the three buttons are for launch control, reverse and automatic. The climate controls are complicated with five dials that will take time to figure out while discovering them. There is also stereo with regular buttons. The gauge clusters are a little old school and cool with a little display filled with every information you need while driving the 599 GTO. The steering wheel just has the red engine start button and a red dial to assist driving modes just like most Ferraris do. Now practicality does come into play but it's a bit difficult. Now since this rear 599 is a very special, exclusive and V12 frontman engine track focus, this Ferrari is of course a grand tour apart from the GTB meaning that having enough decent cargo space than you think. As the trunk opens up the capacity inside contains up to 11.3 cubic feet which is a lot for big items. Behind the seats there is even more extra storage with the straps in the back. Let's take this 599 GTO for a drive and give my impressions for this beauty. First off, the 599 GTO just sounds extraordinary of the V12 screaming while flying on full throttle and as it does with the downships. The V12 just sounds so amazing that it will make you want to keep listening to the sound even further and a lot more. The sound is so good that the 599 GTO can match one of the world's best sounding exotic supercars in the industry like the main rivals this car put up against of its era. The fun factor this car gives is extremely high as the handling is really sharp, steering is very balanced and precise. The 599 is still a quick monster even by modern standards thanks to the F1 gearbox carried over from the Ferrari Marinello which with the instant gear shifts that defeats the manual. The GTO is indeed an incredible driver's car that excels on a racetrack and even can be driven on the main roads. But I know that some people won't drive it on a daily basis but has the capability to be driven daily. This is one of the Ferraris made to be driven on the weekends taken on a track and designed for long road trips. The last Ferrari to use the legendary GTO badge with the combination of acceleration, performance and the F1 sound that never gets old. 
So if you are a car enthusiast looking to experience a Ferrari like this and maybe one of the dream cars ever, then expect to pay half a million or even more for this special rare expensive Ferrari if you do plan getting one. When the 599 GTO first came out, the starting price was given at $426,000 and over the years this limited edition 599 has gotten more expensive because this is the GTO powered with the Enzo engine making it extremely hard to find that you only get to see it appear in the video games. While there are other supercars that are cheaper and sound just as amazing as this car and can be very much fun from that era. I will be shocked to see this Ferrari in real life and test drive it in the future. And now that is the end car review of the Ferrari 599 GTO. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If so, don't forget to press that like button and I will see you next time for some more upcoming videos and as always, you are more than welcome to give me any car suggestions. Let's walk to the Ferrari 599 GTO and get inside and put the keys into the ignition and start the engine. Make sure to turn up your headphone volume for the car sound. It is very fantastic. Peace out. Ah. Ah!